Well, hey there, people. Well, uh, my buddy uh, Ranger Nut, or Adam, he wants to go romping today. So, if I can get my trike started, uh, we're gonna go romping. I only got uh, like a half hour to get this ready. I got my ramp set up. I had a flat on the floor I gotta fill up. So I got about a half hour, 35 minutes to get all this done. Let's get her done. Well, I tried. No romping today. Even my booster battery is dead. So yeah, I'm just gonna throw uh, the trickle charge on the big battery and well, we'll go some other time. It's a shame because it's gonna be nice today. Zero degrees. Well, I give up on the trike for now. Um, I'm gonna get a new battery for it before I even do anything. Anyway, um, I ordered a fire pit from Cabela's the other day. I was expecting to get this uh, big 36 inch round thing. Uh, I guess uh, assembly required. Let's see what's in there. Which ball? Oh, you found your old ball, buddy. Huh? Yeah, you did. Well, there's my fire pit. All four pieces of it. Just got to put it together now. Easy peasy. Well, there we go. Almost legal. I just got to put the uh, mesh on top and I'll show you what I'm doing with that. It's probably complaining because it's minus 30 out. Well, anyway, it's uh, five days later. Um, after I put this thing together the other day, I don't know, I just got sick, man. I was like in bed for a good four, four days of those five days. I guess I had the flu bug or whatever. I feel better now, anyway. Well, I took a little trip down to our, our last place we were staying at. I grabbed my old screen. It's not quite big enough. Like, I could probably use it for maybe cooking on, but I won't be cooking on with pellets. Anyway, I bought this shit, uh, six bucks. It's not very heavy duty, but watch, watch what I'm going to do with it. So I decided to bring that project inside. It's pretty cold out there, minus 30. Well, I guess I could have made a fire, eh? This is warmed up by the fire while I put this together. Anyway, let's get this put together. I just caught Cash, yeah, looking at the moon. Where's the moon, Cash? That's not the moon, buddy. That was hilarious, he was just staring like... I don't know if he was looking at the moon or just spacing out. Well, anyway, uh, here's a, we'll call this a prototype. It's going to be, by the time I'm done with it, it's going to be twice as big. Like, I want that screen to wrap around on the outside of the ring. For easy removal. Yeah, like I say, a prototype. Um, I'm thinking of getting a little heavier gauge steel. Of course, that won't last. And double the size, or 36 inches round. Anyway, I guess uh, might as well light her up. What do you think, Cash? Now that we're all legal, we're good to go. On the next model, like it'll be the bigger improved one, I'm gonna install a door in it, and it could just stay there full time. I need a welder now. Can you just see it? That will never be used until the fire guys come. Oh shit, the fire department's here. Hey, easy peasy, now we're all legal. Hey guys, what's up? <laughs> You're such a believer. Yeah, the guy downstairs just brought me a drink. Mohammed, thanks Mo, that's awesome dude. I'm gonna be bouncing off the walls tonight. Getting cold, Cash? It's like minus 32 now, I think. Get by the fire, buddy. Get in the fire. He's running around. He's not cold. Yeah, he's cold. Okay, let's go inside. Well, it's a really good thing I got that screen on there. Stopping all the sparks from escaping. All of them. <laughs> yeah, that's working pretty good. Yeah, for sure the next one's going to have a door. And they can stand up wood inside. The stander fire. It didn't take long for my beer to freeze, that's for sure. So far, so good. Nobody's called the uh, fire department on me. Alright. 
Well, I'm done out here for now. Um, Shelly, she's got some tickets for this ice castle uh, downtown Edmonton. So anyway, uh, we're gonna go check that out. Let's go check that out. We're at the entrance of the ice castle. Let's go check this out. Watch your head. Hope no ice cubes fall on your head. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Ooh, it's cold enough. Where's the bar? Where's the bar, yeah. <laughs> Exit. We're already done. Look. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the bathroom? Is that the bathroom? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting on the throne. It's what made us. Looks like they're up to code. Good thing, because you never know. Start a fire. All it takes is one spark, and this place will be burnt down to the ground. Joey, go, go photobomb. Go stand behind those guys. Photobomb. Exiting the castle now. Cool? Pretty cool. That's kind of cool. It's more for people that have never seen snow before. Time for a little food. Carrots, pork chops, lemon, pepper, garlic pork chops. And some potatoes. Yeah, nuked potatoes. Not yet. Cold. Soon. Oh, it wasn't hot enough, but that'll do. That's fine. Spread those out a little bit. Season them. Garlic, pepper, and lemon. The musical sinks. It's not like in the minus 40s out there, I guess. Like when we rented this place, like she made us sign this waiver saying if we have problems, it's our fault. So hopefully nothing freezes and we'll be all right. Ran out of garlic. See, the trick is, like, I don't know if you guys like blood. I kind of like blood, so you got to let it coagulate a little bit. Like for a good little bit before you flip them. Flippy. Little flipper. Oh yeah. You burn the shit out of the shit. <laughs> no more coagulation there, that's for sure. I'm gonna slow that stuff up here. <laughs> 
Well, supper is pretty much done. We're just waiting on a nuked potatoes. I hate using that thing. Anyway, I got some mail, it looks like. Well, the first one's from Ian. Cool, cool. Some swag for my jacket. The jacket. I've got a motorhead patch on order for the back. But she's gonna be rocking. Okay, let's see what we got here. All kinds of goodies. A couple patches. Pirate patch. It's out of Fleur de Lis. Whole bunch of pins here. Little NHL Pittsburgh stickers. It's out of Chinook. A Chinook card. Right on. A little sticker for the truck. That'll go on the back window, right on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, big time coolness. Rock and roll. Well, thanks a lot, Ian. That's cool, man. Right on. So we got some nuclear potatoes. Nuclear plate. And dinner is served. <laughs> the meat's got a mahogany finish to it, eh? A little overcooked, but I like my beef jerky. Or this is pork jerky. So this package here is from a really good friend of mine, uh, Nils Hildebrand. Baseball hat. Right on, right on. I'm assuming it's a craft beer company. I'll have to Google it. What's that, man? Did you send me a lottery ticket? What's happening? Hmm. Never heard of it. But probably, like, I probably can find this here in uh, Alberta. Like, the, beer, the liquor stores are pretty good for having a lot of different choices and stuff. Ah! Oh, little sticker. I'm definitely going to have to look into this company. Bing ding, I heard of that one. That's a thick beer there. Okay, this this gift here is like it's it's a very thoughtful, very thoughtful gift. Check this out. So this was the last day of the month for this newspaper. And Nils, he hooked me up. Collector's item for sure, this thing. Yeah, this this one here kind of grabbed me by the boo-boo. Nils, like, yeah, like, how cool is this? Well, not really, like, it's not very cool at all, is it? I just don't know how to describe what I'm feeling, but uh, let's have a peek. Full back page. So, Nils, what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna like call the Global Mail or the uh, the Star. And I'm going to try to find you a copy of our version of this article. I'm sure we have something on Lemmy. Right on, buddy. Like, very, very touching. That's so awesome. Am I rocking? Well, right. So, right on. Uh, big, big, big cheers to Nils and Ian. I appreciate it, guys. Cheers. Big time. But so that's hilarious, almost. So right on people, uh, thanks a lot for watching, I sincerely really do appreciate it, and we'll talk to you guys later.